Hey guys, meteorologist Doug Hetty. I uh, want to update you on what is going on across the nation. Uh, of course, what is going to happen as we go through the next few weeks as we've had a couple snow events that have rolled across uh, the lower 48 over the past, uh, uh, we had the big system last weekend and then uh, snow again for us today. Any snow that was across central plains earlier today is now rolling up the eastern seaboard. And this, is, this system is really kind of wrapped up and it's producing a big band of snow from Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Virginia. Uh, it's going to get into D.C. and then over into New Jersey and also New York. Very heavy amounts of snow eventually up toward Providence and then also Boston as we go through the next 24 hours. And this is going to drop some decent amounts of snow. You can see over a half a foot West Virginia and then everybody else kind of four or five, maybe six inches, a little bit heavier as you go toward Boston. After this occurs, we start to see a change across the country. So let's go to the upper levels. I'm going to go to 500 millibars. And uh, what this shows is, in a sense, our energy across most of the country. And this shows our upper level energy. It's about 18,000 feet. But where you see the brighter colors, these are showing us where our storm energy is and where it is going. So let's go through about the next week or two. I'm using the GFS American model. Um, None of the models are really good right now, but this just gives you an idea, but I can kind of elaborate as we go through time. So let's go into the next several days. We're going to work our way through the weekend, weak little wave as we go across the central plains. I need to switch runs here. Let's go to that run. Weak little wave right across the central plains, which will produce mainly rain. And then look at this. Look at this huge ridge of high pressure. So this is a ridge of uh, high pressure and this is your jet stream which is way up into Canada. This is what happened in November and most of December. This is why most of the country was so warm. This is also a La Nina pattern so it's very typical for a La Nina pattern but the difference is in November and December we had a positive AO or positive Arctic oscillation so when that occurs it locks up all the Arctic air. Now, over the past couple weeks, we've had a negative AO, which allows that Arctic air to drop south. Over the next week or so, it's going to lift back into the positive range, and that's why that jet stream is so far north. But it should go negative again by the time we head into late next week. So most of the country warm. We're going through Wednesday, next Thursday, next Friday, and then we start to get these systems up here. And these are going to let the Arctic air loose once again as we go into next weekend, and then the following week, and then all the way to about the 20th, 22nd, 23rd of the month. So let me show you what the Arctic air looks like. We're looking at upper level temperatures, but wherever you see these purples and then kind of the white, that's Arctic air. So it retreats, we're going through next week, kind of lifts back north, and then by next weekend, it starts plunging south again into the following week. So now we're looking at about two weeks away, but you can see that Arctic air just really tries to take hold of the Central Plains and then also the New England states. Now with it, we are gonna get some moisture. So there's really no big storm systems or no big snows or really no big, uh, oh, severe weather events over the next week. But let's go through precip and we'll get a look here. Let's go to this view. Let's scroll down. Let's go to winter precip. And again, this is just giving you an idea. All right, let's go through time. Let's go through the next couple weeks. All right, we got the system right now, which is across the New England states. We get a system Saturday that produces mainly rain across the central plains, not really a snowmaker. That guy pushes east, a little bit of snow in New England by Monday. Then most of the country is pretty quiet most of next week. Finally, a system gets going late next week, Thursday into Friday, Central Plains. And this should be a bigger system than what this model is projecting. So rain, maybe some snow. And then with that Arctic air, we start getting a lot of waves. Look at this, around 17th, 18th, trying to produce snow. I, I haven't, uh, I've got to look at the exact pattern to see if that is the right dates. Because remember, a model is just kind of an idea. So let's look here. Yeah, there's a chance. Right around 17th into 18th 
Um, and then we can go through time. You can see these systems with the cold air start to produce some more snow. So at least uh, in January, if you are a snow lover, we have better shots. A good chunk of the country because most of the country is way behind on snowfall. Now, there are some exceptions. Of course, the East Coast got the big snow a few days ago, and then they're getting more snow tonight. But uh, most of the country is behind on snow, but it is going to start to pick up as we get through January and February. Overall, winter is warmer than average, and it's going to be this winter, but there are going to be those big cold snaps. But I can tell you right now, as this pattern, we're in about a 63, 64-day cycle. Uh, I use the heady pattern. My pattern, uh, spring is is really going to rock and roll with severe weather. And, of course, we're going to get into that on future videos. But I hope you guys have a great night. Enjoy the rest of the week and into the weekend. I'll keep you guys updated.